Baby, I am so glad you decided to stay with me. You know, it's going to be good practice for when we're married. That's right, we're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so much keeps happening tonight, I forgot. Oh, well, I think I know just how to remind you. Um, you know, uh, being with you won't change the fact that at some point I have to go home and get my things. <laughs> Not that it's really home anymore anyway. I mean, if it ever really was, because my mom has been lying to Simone and me ever since we were born, and my father before that. Winnie, Winnie, stop. All right? You're just gonna make yourself upset again. Relax. How am I supposed to relax? Let me make love to you. Let's start our engagement off right. Focus on our future together, and not on your parents' marriage falling apart. I am. Um, I love you. I am. Um, I'm just still tense over what's happening with my parents. That's all. Yeah, your mom would have saved a lot of grief if she would just admitted her feelings from the get go. What do you mean by that? Well, I think she never stopped loving Mr. Crane, but she married your pops anyway. You know, that's just a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, don't worry. All right, it's different for us. We only love each other. She said she would do. She tore my life apart, broke up my family, and now she's finally succeeded in stealing my husband. TC and Liz are. Yeah. Liz is upstairs right now, making love to my husband in my bed. <laughs> Liz, we can't do this. We have to stop. This is not right. Oh, TC. I can give you a son. A son you always wanted. Liz, you're missing the point. I am still a married man. I mean, no matter what Eve did or what lies she told to cover Eve it up. Eve doesn't care about you, TC. Why should you care about her? Liz, this is just happening too fast. Forget about Eve. Forget about the lies she told you and the pain she caused you. Just think about me and how good I'm going to make you feel. And how proud you'll be to finally have your son. The son I'm going to give you. Make love to me, TC. Make love to me. Better? Yeah. 
You know, I just have to concentrate on us, our future together, not the past. Simone? This is what I get for thinking that tonight couldn't get any worse. What are you doing here? I came to talk to you about what went down between Mom and Dad. I was hoping that there was something that we could do to help fix things. But obviously, you're too busy doing chat to give a damn about anything else. Okay, Simone, wait, wait, no, no. I'm glad you came. I want to talk to you, too. Forget it, Whitney. I was a fool to think that my slut sister could help fix the mess that my slut mother has made of things with Daddy. Oh, TC. That was wonderful. I am so glad you let me make you feel better. You didn't. Well, I, I know I haven't been with a man for a while, but I thought I did okay. Liz, you were wonderful, okay? It's just I only had sex with you to get back at Eve for lying to me all these years. I'm still a married man. You can get a divorce in the morning. That's not the point, okay? We built a life together. We have children together. Yes, but she had a child with Julian Crane, too. I hate that she had a child with Julian Crane. All right, but I was with Eve, too. I was with Eve for over 20 years, and I'm not going to turn my back on that now. Why not, TC? She did. You can bet that she's up at the Crane Mansion in bed with Julian right now. Now, why give Eve a second thought after everything that she has done to you and the girls? Where are you going? I'm going to find my wife. I want to see for myself. And if she is in bed with Julian Crane, you're right, Liz. It will be over between us. Oh, it's over, TC. Eve is out, and I am in. Oh, I saw it with my own eyes, and I still don't believe it. Oh, my marriage is over. TC's moved on with Liz. I'm so sorry. I know how much you love TC. I know. How oh, you cherish your marriage and your family. I can't believe I was such a fool. I just hold out such high hopes after what happened tonight. I have lied to my husband and to my daughters and to everyone my entire adult life. I don't know how I could think that the truth could come out in any way but badly. A bit of sherry will steady your nerves. Oh, thank you. Please, just a sip, just for me, yes? Go ahead. Have some more. Do you good. Okay. Thank you. You've been through hell tonight. You're exhausted. Here. I'm going to get you to bed. We will worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. You were right about the sherry, Julian. I, I feel calmer. Well, you'll drift off in no time. Here. Good night, Eve. Julian? Don't go. I don't want to be alone tonight. No, will you be? Thank you. I swore I wouldn't abandon you again, and I won't. I'll stay with you as long as you want me.
please, please, honey, stay and let's talk this out. I was crazy to think that we had anything to talk about. My whole life has fallen apart. You and Mom are both whores, and you don't give a damn about no. Daddy or me. Don't talk to your sister like that. All right, Whitney's not a whore. She didn't sleep around with other guys. She didn't even think about it. You have to defend her. You're in love with the slut and dumb enough to want to marry her. Yeah, I want to marry her. We're in love with each other. Whitney loves winning. Okay, that's why she stole you away from me. That is why she tricked you into believing it. You, you know that's not how it is. All right, but if you want to play the victim, blame me for hurting you, not Whitney. Your sister, Simone. You and Whitney need each other at a time like this. She needs your sweet loving more. You and Whitney should be a team and help your parents out. Not sitting here fighting like cats and dogs. Chad's right, you know. Simone, I love you. I've told you a million times I want to work things out between us. And now more than ever since mom and dad are going through their problems. And I know you feel the same way too or you wouldn't want to come here and talk to me. Right. Uh, I guess I should have called first, huh? Fox. What brings you by? Um, you know, it was a rough night, so I figured you guys could use some comfort food. But, uh, I guess it's a bad time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave this and, um, let you three enjoy it by yourselves. Um, uh, okay? You know, you fucks, wait a second. I think we all could use a break. Uh, won't you, won't you stay and eat with us? It's been such a long time since we were together. The years haven't changed our passion for each other. No. Not at all. I love you, Ian. I've always loved you. I will always love you. Don't you still love TC? I understand. It's part of what makes you you. Just know that I'll always be here for you. Liz was right. She said that you were run straight back to Julian's bed, but I didn't believe her. Liz told you I was here? Yeah. She called your service. You left the number to the mansion. TC, Liz set you up. I told you she was evil. No, Liz was right. I was wishing that she was wrong. I was hoping that you weren't who I thought you were, but you are, Eve. You're nothing but a slut. Don't call her that. Why not, Julian? It's true. You are one to talk, Mr. Russell. I just caught you in our bed with Liz not more than an hour ago. Oh. Oh. You, you did? Yes. Yes, because I came here to talk to you so I could fix things. Oh, but you were otherwise occupied. So sleeping with Julian gets back at me? No. It was... It was... Don't blame her for our being together. Blame me. Well, you damn right I do blame you. Back off, both of you. We've all been through a lot tonight. I don't think I could stand any more fighting. You know what, Eve? I will back off. Because you're not worth fighting for anyway. You're nothing but a slut and a whore. You lied to me our whole marriage. Oh, TC, I wanted to tell you the truth so many times. But every time I tried to, you'd say something that made me afraid to, to trust you. So it's my fault that our marriage is a sham? No, I didn't say that. You know what? Save it, Eve. I've heard enough. I've damn sure seen enough. What do you see? What are you doing here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the secret's out. You know all about Eve. Has the world gone mad? I mean, I just... Go out of town for a little Botox, a little collagen, a little lipo. I come back and Teresa is ensconced in little Ethan's room. And then Eve is in flagrante delecto with you. 
I want these two sluts out of the house now. What you want is irrelevant. You don't call the shots around here anymore. Oh, well, obviously. The blood has not flowed back to your brain from point south where it was when you had your little romp with Eve. When I say matters around here, and I want your whore out of my house pronto. Or what? Or I am going to tell T.C. everything. T.C. already knows. In fact, the whole damn town probably knows by now. That, that you and Eve were lovers? Yes. And that we have a son together. A son? Welcome home, dear. Now, I want you out of my sight. I'm going back in there to be with a woman that I love, and it's not you. Can't believe this. It feels like I'm walking in quicksand. I lose my wife. My family's torn apart. I sleep with your sister. Since this morning, my whole world has been turned upside down. Well, I know how you feel, TC. My life will never be the same either. Yeah, right. You're back with your son's father. TC. Eve, how could you have a child with my worst enemy? And keep it a secret all these years. You really don't know where your son is? Fox, you're best in class for bringing this comfort food over after the night that Whitney had. That's Simone, too. Yeah, well, it's been rough on all of us. Rough night. Hey, man, I know Whitney's down on you now, but I appreciate you doing this. You're like a brother to me. It's a small world, isn't it, since we just found out that Fox, Simone, and I share a brother somewhere. <laughs>